don't care. Joe, uh, what, what's Brecky? Brecky is a, a short word of breakfast. Uh, breakfast. Strange, very lazy. To talk. <laughs> you are strange, short, and everything. Well, we're here uh, on on Brecky with Joe and Kev. Here's Joe. Here's Kev with the enemy within and with hope helps heal. Uh, Joe, it's my understanding you live with bipolar disorder. And you have for quite some time. I do, yeah. That's um, something that I've, I guess I've learned to manage over, over a long period of time. You know, I have my high days and low days, but it's, um, it's about management overall. And um, Joe, what are your symptoms? Uh, uh, is paranoia? Most part. What is, what is that like for you? For me, it's, my paranoia is that, that everybody has a negative feeling towards me, or everybody's having a negative, I guess, conversation about me. Anyone who tells secrets in the same room as me, I, I'm led to believe that it's about me. Um, so it's with the inner dialogue that I have already um, that is negative, it just it plays on that negative uh, conversation that goes on, on in my head every day. And it must affect you terribly trying to interact with people when this is going on. Uh, hugely, because I, I feel that people are having a negative conversation or talking about me. Um, so when I try and have that positive conversation with them, I, I feel that it's contradicting. You know, so it's at, at some days it's, it's extremely hard um, just to converse with people. Wow, and and uh, it must be terribly intense to to try to uh, be a be a as they say a productive member of society while you're looking around at these really uh, distorted realities. It must be very heavy. Yeah, it is. Um, You've constantly got to tell yourself that people aren't talking negatively about you. Even the most closest of people. Um, I feel that that's why I find it so hard to trust, so hard to let anybody into my circle because I feel that everybody, I guess, a negative way against me. This has been Bracky. Joe and Kev. See you soon.